I think I'm ready for this haul. I don't know. <laughs> And I'm going to try to sit for some reason right now. And I think it's from where I had the brain hemorrhage. I don't know. My eyes tend to want to veer this way, but I know the camera's this way. She wants up here, but she don't want up here. I don't know what to do with her. <laughs> I was trying to get ready for this video. This video, see what I mean? And, uh, Went over to the sink three times, and I'm thinking, why did I come over here? <laughs> I went, I went, oh, I went over for my coffee. And I finally remembered. And I think I carried it off. <laughs> when I remembered I hadn't put earrings in. And I was thinking, Omi would say, Angie, you better go, or she'd say, Angela. She'd say, Angela, I better do something with this kitten because I don't need to be scratched up. <coughs> Excuse me. While I was up, that little mess out there with Lexi, I remembered my coffee. And look at it. Michelle made this cup. It says, run on coffee and chaos. And it's upside down. I told her I must have it. And she made me one. So I've got that. Got my coffee. I went to Yugo. Yeah, Yugo again. Hadn't heard about Yugo. A big haul, but one time in a while. And uh, got home and Eli helped bring the groceries in. He was trying to earn a little cash. I said, if you'll unload the groceries. So he unloaded them. And then he come in there and asked me if he could have some of these. And I said, Eli, I did not buy them. And he said, well, they were in the bag. <laughs> and I didn't. I don't even remember looking at candy, period. I could have, but I don't think I did. I winded up with the bag of, and they're good till May of 24, so. Milky Way. And it had a price on it. Oh, three twenty nine. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good deal or not. This is my mystery purchase. It could be like I've done before. Let me look over here. Like I've done before and uh, put something in the wrong baggie. And I didn't notice it. Because like I said, at checkout, you have to unload your baggie while they're ringing you up. And if, they're, if you're slow like I am, they're too far ahead of you. So, I won't take them back. I'll hang on to them. Hallow you know, Halloween trick-or-treats coming up. That could be... <laughs> yeah. That's our trick-or-treat. I got it upside down. <laughs> but anyway, Yigo had some really good deals again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I went for a specific purpose, and you'll see that later in the video. Just because it's not sitting here yet. And I took Tammy with me. Tammy has never been to Yugo. And I think she was amazed at a lot of the prices on the brands they had. And uh, she's very, very particular on what she buys. And she found quite a bit of items at Yugo. Good dates, good prices. And I don't know. I didn't film any of it. I should have probably find out later how she likes the product she did get because I was doing my thing. She was doing her thing and I don't know what all she bought, but I know we shop different. Except, I know she bought salsa. Well, I bought the Always Save Salsa in the medium. It is 15.5 uh, ounces for a dollar. And I bought two of them because salsa is one thing I do need to stock up um, because I run low on it. I use it on a lot of stuff. And then you, in a pinch, you can even use it in uh, casseroles and stuff because of the flavor of it. So I bought two jars of it in a dollar a piece. 
cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Of course, I know there is, a, is and I may have one of them left, a name brand right now, but for a dollar a piece, I thought I'd go ahead and pick up two of them. And she bought, is it El Paso or something? I think it was a little more. But I stuck with these, and both of them are in a medium. Well, I know we're going to have to do a let's pretend on this item. They had the green giant. I think I told only last night it was Del Monte. And if I'm wrong on this, I'll type it in at the bottom. But green giant cut green beans for 39 cents a can. That's the cheapest I've seen canned goods in a long, long time. I know people say Aldi's has good prices on canned goods. I don't go to Aldi's very often. So, we'll pretend that this is also Italian cut green beans. I bought a case. I bought 12 cans. I um, said, why so many cans? I said, well, I can eat green beans every day just like I can pintos. And Kenny can too. And then the holidays coming up and I know I have some here, but for 39 cents a can, I bought a whole case of the, uh, at least I hope the whole case was, and if not, fine, as long as it's green beans, uh, Italian cut green beans. And I think Tammy said they had French style, I can't remember, but for 39 cents a can. I don't think that was as far as canned goods or anything. That was all. Um, bought more bananas. I got them at Walmart. I think I get them every time I go into a store. And, uh, I got these on the greener side because I still have some left from, um, uh, Walmart. Have you seen that haul yet? <laughs> you have, I think. But anyway, or maybe I didn't even do a haul. No, it wasn't Walmart. It was Hugo. You'll see it before you see this. <laughs> But anyway, that's how my brain works. I've been running on tired. So I just went ahead and got some in the green stage. And I froze some bananas too, because I remember saying in my last haul that I had some overripe ones. So I put three in a freezer bag and stuck them in the freezer. I bought the last haul, I think it was four pounds. Was it Fuji's? They're sitting right here in the red colander. This time, it was three pounds of the uh, gala. So, I bought three pounds of gala for two fifty, And I'll put them in with these right here. And I'm sure I'll probably be cooking some up. And I already thought about apple and dumplings. I ain't had apple and dumplings in a long time. I think I made it a long time ago, but with my memory, I may have to look it up. But anyway, apple pie, just apple sauce, apple anything. <laughs> Remember, it's fall of the year, so yeah. So total, I think the other ones were four pounds, so a total of seven pounds was five dollars. That's two visits. So I thought that was a really good deal. Tammy was looking at this. I'm going to say this is Tammy's fault. I, she said, Angie, what do you use this for? And I said, I don't know. I've never seen it. And it says brown cane sugar, panala, bigoya, $1.59 for a pound. And it's in a brick form. <laughs> Have any of y'all seen this? brown sugar, and a brick form. And what do you use it for? I told her I was getting one out of curiosity because that's what I said about the you go. You can um, find stuff at a good price because I thought for $1.59, if I had to take a hammer to it, I will. <laughs> but why would you buy a block of hard, pure cane sugar? I have no clue. And where was it made? Product of Columbia. So, I bought this one out of curiosity. 
And if y'all know, leave it in the comments, and I'll, I'll uh, try to address it in another haul, or maybe even in a short. Another thing I found new to us is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cinnabit. Cinna dust, made with cinnamon dust for a dollar. Austin by Betty Crocker for a dollar. And I just bought one. Maybe should have got more. I said I can picture this on spice cake, uh, banana bread, you know, just real thin. Any number of things for this Austin just glaze uh, cinnamon rolls. So I bought one. Should I bought more? I might have depended on the date. It did. December of 23. So I know you can use it past that date, but um, Austin, I tend to lean with trying to keep it in a small month zone after the date. Might as well get the Santa Dust cookie mix to go with the Austin because it must have been together. I just noticed that. Because it shows Austin on these cookies. And I gave a dollar. One thing I like about this particular Ego, normally the prices are on it unless they get rubbed off. Cheaper than the Dollar Tree. I bought one of those. And it might be according to the date why I didn't get more. Yeah, November of 23, 24th of 23. So, since I already have things in my pantry, I'm really, really trying to be mindful. But because it's something different, and I know Eli and I both like it, and it's Papa, I got one of those. Again, Tammy's fault. She said, ooh, grape jello. I think we had grape jello as a kid. I can't remember the last time if I've ever had it. Grape Jello, it just sounded good. So I bought one box of Grape Jello for 69 cents. And at some point, I will use it. <laughs> and like I said, I like Grape Jello. I mean, I like Jello in general. Now, when I was 10 years old, you could ask me that. And I said, don't give me any more Jello because I had to have my appendix took out. And I was in the hospital seven or more days. And it, I remember distinctly this. It was chi it was broth, jello, and uh, as far as the foods that I was eating, it was a bland liquid diet. So for a long, long time, I did not want jello, but I like jello. Sleepy time tea. I figured I might ought to get some of this tea from when Omi's back. You get 20 bags for a dollar. It's fall of the year. I'm not a big tea drinker. Cold tea, not hot tea. So I really want to get into it because I found quite a bit in my pantry. And uh, I think I had cinnamon spice and some of the others. So I want to start getting into tea and maybe this will help me too. So I got one of those for a dollar. I thought this was a really good deal because the smaller bag at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar and a quarter. I think it's the same brand, Southern, South, Southeastern Mills Peppered Gravy Mix. And I love this stuff, it's easy. I uh, used my grits from the Yugo the other night. Might have took a picture of it, I don't know. And opened a pack of this kind of gravy mix and fried an egg and put it over the top. That was my supper. <laughs> That's why I don't meal plan because especially when I have leftovers, I might crave something no one else in the house will eat, but they'll eat the leftovers. Or I can adapt leftovers for whoever's eating. So, uh, I like to keep these on hand. Actually, these are family size, so you get 13 servings per container, and I can't remember how many the small ones are. And I don't have a lot of these in stock. March 3rd of 24, and it may be, if I can find a good deal on them, I'll get some more. I know I can make homemade gravy, but realistically, oh, I bought three of them. Realistically, this is the way I go. 
Got a like some pumpkin spice muffin mix. Again, that icing, I could drizzle some of it on it. He loves anything pumpkin spice, 79 cents. Cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And you, our Yugo is right next. Well, we got a gym in between. <laughs> uh, but it's right down from the Dollar Tree. So, but for 79 cents, I decided to get it. Something I want to try, it's chocolate muffin and cupcake mix, the keto and paleo, 10.57 ounces, it's chocolate muffin and cake mix. Mia Jones Baking Company, I think, grain free. For anybody that's on keto and it's $1.49, I'm sorry it took me so long to look at it. I looked at it, it says meet Miss Jones, and there's nine servings in it. You need eggs, milk, butter. So, I thought I'd try it because I know people that are on uh, keto or, um, and they do different mixes and stuff and I had bought a few in the past and wound up gifting them out. But for $1.49, I couldn't probably make it from scratch for that, so I got that one. I better hurry up. It's gonna be a long video. I'll uh, do this one, set it up, and then we'll come back and I'll do another one on another haul. Yeah, sour raisins, Tammy said. Sour raisins, Angie? I said, where? <laughs> 59 cents for a single bag, but sour. I like the sour candy. She tried to show me a few other sour things. I think even sour patches, and I said no, but raisins, I thought, I'll get one pack. About sun made. And then again, she showed me this one. New look, same great taste. Chocolate yogurt covered raisins. And they're sun made, seven ounces for $1.99. I love chocolate covered raisins. And I thought for a dollar ninety-nine for uh, the yogurt flavored, I thought that was a good deal. So I just got one bag. Could I say it might be a little healthier? I don't know. I think a lot of this haul is uh being curious about certain things like how did that wind up in my bag? Oh, what, what did I use this for? And only help me, did we have grape jello as a kid? If I've had it any time in the recent years, I probably forgot. Anyways, another thing I got, yeah. Because uh, Tammy was looking at the beans and she said, black turtle beans, Angie, and I said, what? And I eat the black beans. I buy black beans. Oh, I think I know why they're called turtle beans. They're little. Look. Has anybody ever seen black turtle beans? And they were a dollar nineteen. I'm I'm gonna say they're a pound, but I'm looking. Some of these things are hard to tell. That's by February 27th of 2025. But they're little bitty black beans. How did I not notice? I was tired. Notice that in the store. High in protein, cholesterol free. You know what? I still don't see the weight on it. Are they trying to tell us something? I still don't see the weight. But if I go back to you go, I'll probably get some more of these little tiny black beans. Have y'all seen these? Again, Yugo's a good place to try stuff. So, this video's got a little long. I got somebody over there saying, come here. I just got a few more items on the table to actually show. So, the next time, I will get these cleaned up. And I'll show you my meat and freezer items because I got a fantastic deal on some uh, burger for $2.99 a pound. 
and I said I was going to stock up if it was $2.99 a pound. I'll tell you that part. But I'll show you how you go when they say chub pack in the next video. You'll see uh, how they do it. And I got to get it out of my refrigerator and get it sectioned off and put in the freezer. So I should be back for a part two of a Yugo haul. <laughs> Shouldn't have talked so long this one and get my apples out of the bag too. Thank you for watching and uh, putting up with my chaotic ways and I'm gonna get this stuff put up and tend to what they need and then I'll be back with the part two. And until next time, we'll talk soon.